Enzo's the son of a pizza man. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're doing a Q&A. Uh, so a while ago, I had asked you guys for some questions, and you gave them to me. So today I'm gonna answer them. But before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys to subscribe. Don't forget, that makes me very happy. Uh, also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do upload new videos. Um, uploading them every Friday. So check it out. So this first group of questions is from Instagram. So the first question is from a birdie told me. Uh, I love pizza, but I'm a vegan. What is a good cheese alternative for pizza besides Daya? So I don't know the answer to that, honestly. Uh, me and Dave were vegan for like about a month. And my honest answer is maybe try to make cheese. Um, uh, a lot of vegan recipes um, vegan cheese recipes are made from cashews so I would suggest looking up homemade cheese recipes uh, you can also make uh, mozzarella uh, we I think we actually made mozzarella for um, a pizza <clears throat> uh, it did not turn out well but I think that was user error so uh, yeah so I would say go the homemade route with the uh, vegan cheese uh, because honestly I don't I'm not I'm not the person asked for that so there you go. So the next question is from Cody. Uh, who in their right mind thought anchovies belong on pizza? So we recently had an anchovy pizza and I did not care for it. Uh, anchovies are super, super, super salty. So, um, and I feel like it's like, on a pizza, they're kind of like concentrated because they're like strips of, of anchovies. So if you bite, if you get like a whole anchovy in your mouth, uh, it's a lot of salt. So uh, I like anchovies in like Caesar salads and like the, the flavor of anchovies are fine, but on pizza, probably not, not cute. So Brad asks, worst pizza topping? Um, I would say worst pizza topping would be anything that is, uh, this is gonna sound weird, but like a wet and like mushy. So like tomatoes or um, like just like, I don't know, just like wet things. I would think, I, I have a, a thing about wet food that I could go into a whole other tangent on that, but I would say probably like tomatoes. We'll just go with that for now as worst pizza topping. So it's like the pizzeria asks, what is your favorite style of pizza? What is your least favorite? So my favorite style of pizza is New York style, just because my dad, that's kind of what he, what I grew up with and what he made. And um, I also love Sicilian pizza. So it's like super thick and square and crunchy and chewy and delicious. Um, my least favorite is probably deep dish. Uh, even though I live in Chicago, I love Chicago, um, I just can't get into deep dish pizza because it's just, to me it's like too soupy and too saucy, so no deep dish. The next question is from Stefania. Uh, she, she actually has two questions. So the first one is, what is your go-to pizza combination? And Number two, what pizza do you judge a pizza place off of? So my favorite go-to pizza combination is, and these, these questions are kind of, kind of go hand in hand, I love a plain cheese pizza because uh, the thing is, I when I go to a new place and I want to try their pizza, I usually go for a plain cheese pizza because you can't really hide behind uh, dough, sauce, and cheese. Like, those ingredients need to be good. Otherwise, you can tell it's not, not a good pizza. So, that's kind of like my baseline. Um, I do love, you know, typical toppings, pepperoni, sausage. So, that's kind of where, where I stand with that. So, this next batch of questions is from Reddit. So, this first question is from Furry Rodian. Furry Rodian. Uh, if you cook an open-faced sandwich, is it a pizza? Is a pizza an open-faced sandwich? Where do calzones fall into this? Um, I'm gonna say uh, an open-faced sandwich is not a pizza. I think it's an open-faced sandwich. Um, unless there's sauce and cheese on this open-faced sandwich. And then technically it could be a 
frozen like French bread pizza. So I guess like a French bread pizza is kind of like a, like related to an open face sandwich. I don't know. And where do calzones fall on this? Calzones, strombolis, foldovers, uh, they're just, they're just shy pizzas. Uh, Commando Tyco asks, I too am a pizza man. How do you feel about Papa Schnatter stepping down? Is Little John the only one that can save us? So a while ago, uh, Papa John, the Papa John, stepped down from CEO, owner, or whatever, Papa John's. Uh, I think the Little Domino's guy also stepped down. Um, I don't know, Papa John, I have issues with him, but the pizza's fine. Uh, out of all the chain restaurants, I feel like now, if I had to choose, I would probably choose Papa John's over like Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars. Um, but we don't, we, we have a Papa John's like right down the road and we don't, we never go. We've gone probably like once or twice. And every time we go, we're like, oh, that's why we don't go. It satisfies the craving for like a second and then like 30 minutes later, it's like, oh, I feel disgusting. Uh, Princess Banana 85 asks, how many toppings do you like in your pizza? Um, I'm kind of like an all or nothing. I love plain cheese, like I said before. Um, I also love uh, like a pepperoni sausage combo. That's also a good one. Or I also like like an everything, like a supreme, where it's like just dump everything on there. And you know, so, I, but I don't like in between uh, toppings, which I don't that, Is that weird? I don't know. Sco 3 Putt asks, how much does a pizza cost to make? Uh, pizza, making pizza is actually really, really, really inexpensive. Uh, dough is flour, water, yeast, and salt. Um, pizza sauce, get a can of tomatoes, and some mozzarella cheese. So I would say definitely you can make a pizza at home for under $5 for sure. So uh, it's really cheap, it's really easy. Um, you should do it. Taffy the Cat asks, pineapple on pizza? Um, I don't really care if you like pineapple on pizza. I know there's this, there's this whole debate about pineapple on pizza and how, how gross it is or how not gross it is and it, whatever. If you like it, go for it. It's, it's, you know, it's whatever you, you enjoy. I don't honestly know if I've had pineapple on pizza recently anyway. I know I probably tried it like a long, long, long time ago. Um, I'm open to trying it again. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And then like, the, so you can do like pineapple or you can do pineapple and ham. I know that's a good combination. So maybe I will try that soon, who knows. And the last question comes from Shuby Snacks. Uh, Shuby Snacks asks, what's a great tasting healthy pizza? Um, I think Pizza is actually pretty healthy if you think about it because it's it's just bread, sauce, and cheese. So it's it's got grains, sauce is vegetable, cheese, dairy, dairy is fine. Um, you can make a pizza really healthy. You can swap out the dough. You can make like whole wheat dough, um, tomatoes. Uh, you can swap out. You can have a tomato pie. You can have low fat cheese. Um, dump a bunch of veggies on it. Um, so I think people, when they people think pizza, they automatically go to like, oh, it's so unhealthy, it's fast food, it's gross. But um, especially if you make it at home, uh, pizza can be actually really healthy. So I would say make pizza at home um, and make it as healthy or as gross and unhealthy as you want. So that's it. Those are my, my Q and A questions, answers. Um, if you have any more questions for me, comment below, or you hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I would love to answer them. Maybe down the road, I'll do another one of these Q and A videos. Um, if you haven't already, please, please, please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, uh, like up this video if you like this. If you didn't like it, don't like it. Uh, and until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me Was the son of a pizza man